In this podcast, we're going to talk about Lewis dot structures. Specifically, we're going to talk about covalent Lewis dot structures. All right, first a little about what a Lewis dot structure is. It shows the valence electrons, which are the outside shell of electrons, and how they're arranged. We're going to put one dot for each valence electron, and a stable compound um, is going to have all of the atoms in the compound having a noble gas configuration, meaning that it has eight valence electrons. So we're going to follow the octet rule for the majority of the elements. Now hydrogen doesn't have to follow the octet rule. He can follow the duet rule. Okay, so he'll only have two valence electrons. Um, and we're going to call a bonding pair as the pair between the two symbols for the elements or the two atoms themselves. All right, now there are some rules for writing Lewis dot structures. First thing you want to do is sum the valence electrons. Then you want to use a pair to form a bond between each pair of atoms. Then we're going to arrange the rest so that we can fulfill the octet rule, except for hydrogen, we're going to fulfill the duet rule. Okay, and we're going to try H2O real quick. All right, so we have H, which has one, and we have two of those, so that's two valence electrons, so one plus one. All right, and then O has six, so that's a total of eight valence electrons. Okay, so first, let's make a bond between each of the elements. Okay, all right, so hydrogen has a bond on both sides to the oxygen, uh, so that counts, this line right here counts as a bonding pair. So we have two electrons on the hydrogen and two on this hydrogen. At this point, we have uh, used four electrons. We have four left. And oxygen has not fulfilled the octet. So that's where we want to start adding the electrons. All right, add them to him as so. And we see that we get two, four, six, eight on oxygen, two on hydrogen, two on hydrogen. So that's good. Okay, let's try another example, CO2. All right, C has four valence electrons. And then each O has six. So 2 times 6 is 12, so that's a total of 16 valence electrons. Okay, so first we're going to connect the oxygens. All right, so at this point we've used four valence electrons. We have 12 left. Okay, and carbon has four, and oxygen, each oxygen has two. Okay, so first let's go ahead and satisfy carbon. Okay, so we can give him another set of bonds, so that's two, four, six, eight bonds, or uh, eight electrons, my bad, four bonds. Okay, so carbon is satisfied. All right, and we've already used another four electrons, so now we have eight electrons left. Okay, so let's see if we can get these oxygens satisfied. They have two, four, now they have six, eight on this one. All right, we have four electrons left, and there we go, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, and then carbon two, four, six, eight. Everybody has eight. Uh oh, my computer's getting mad. Let me plug it in. All right, now it won't be mad at me anymore. All right, let's try another example. Okay, so we have carbon monoxide. Here we have four valence electrons for carbon and six for oxygen. Okay, so that's 10 valence electrons total. Okay, so first we're going to make the bond between the two. Okay, so that's two electrons gone, so we have uh, eight more. All right, and we could just start adding them wherever we please. So first let's satisfy oxygen. So he has two, now that's four, and we have six and eight. So oxygen is satisfied, that's two, four, six, eight. We have two more electrons that we can use. Put them over here okay but now we see that carbon only has two four so he's not satisfied so we're gonna have to do something a little different okay so let's see if we can move some of these pairs right here all right now oxygen has two four six eight all right and carbon has two four six so it's better but not quite so let's move one more pair all right now carbon has two four six eight Oxygen has two, four, six, eight. So everybody is satisfied in this example. Okay, last one. This is uh, CO3, two minus. This is the carbonate ion. So the difference here is gonna be 
This two minus means we get to add two electrons after we have um, got the rest of them added in. Okay, so carbon has four valence electrons. Oxygen has six, but there's three oxygen, so six times three is 18. Oh, look, I'm trying to talk about multiplication and I keep writing. All right, so four plus 18 is 22. So we have 22 total electrons we can work with here. C is going to be our central atom. It's going to bond to each, elect, uh, each oxygen. Oh, and guess what? We forgot to add in these two electrons, so let's go ahead and add those in. All right, so we got 24 total electrons we get to work with here. Okay, all right, so we've already used two, four, six. Six of them are gone. That means we have um, 18 left. Okay, so carbon has two, four, six. So we can go ahead and satisfy carbon. Let's go ahead and give him two. Okay, so now we have 16 more. All right, let's see if we can start adding them onto oxygens. All right, so we just used six there, so that's 10 left. All right, now we have four left. All right, now oxygen, two, four, six, eight. This one's satisfied. Two, four, six, eight. That one's satisfied. Carbon, two, four, six, eight. He's satisfied. But the oxygen, we have two, four, six. He's not satisfied. So we need to move this pair off of the carbon, connect it with the oxygen, and there we go. 2, 4, 6, 8 on the oxygen, 2, 4, 6, 8 on the carbon, 2, 4, 6, 8 on this oxygen, 2, 4, 6, 8 on this one. Okay, so that's what you want to do. That's all there is to it.